Uh, hello there. Di diary entry for the 22nd of October 2015, or as some would say, 215. Now, this is not too bad an entry, it's okay. Like what I mean. Well, as I gone to bed far too late yesterday, because I was messing with my new baby, Delumi, which I still have for at the moment. I decided against going out tonight, which normally I go out on Wednesday, but as happened, I wouldn't be going out. So I ensured all the lamps were turned off, and as I love my sleep, like, you know, I like to mind the alarm, but, you know, if you have to, if you have, I obviously use the alarm if I have to get up for something, right? Like a cinema or a meeting people or whatever. But, the fact that I, I like my lions, I decided to leave everything off, alright? Now, However, as I later learned, I had restarted my phone and I forgot to log in with my SIM. By that I mean just simply entering the PIN number. Because I was wondering why I I had received to was it, but I had hoped to wake up to missed calls or whatever. But nada. Because when you, when you, if you don't log in with your SIM or enter your PIN number, you're actually not going to get any calls because that's the only way for the SIM card to identify your phone number on the network. So in my case, I forgot to enter the SIM, or the PIN number, sorry, and I'll say, I just got two voicemails, which I don't know what the two voicemails were, but whatever, I got two voicemails, because they came in directly, so, when someone tried to ring me at the time, it would come direct to voicemail, because I didn't enter the PIN. So, as for nothing unusual, dream commences, one being, a Charles marries my boyfriend. I look for my boyfriend, etc., and then I get an invite to a wedding, of which I realize that I could be white ticket it, and as I expected, I have never said. Now, that's very simple, in that, I get an invite to my boyfriend's, or to, I get an invite to a wedding, okay? And if the wedding is Charles, and my boyfriend's name, I think, Emmett, well, don't get right, then, I think to myself, hmm, this could be the same M that I should be my boyfriend, but as I expected, or as I, and then I find out somehow it's gone now, this A and A, I've never said it, so I've forgotten how it's found out, but somehow I found out, and as I expected, I'll never say it. Now, this being a thought more so a dream of me wanting to get, but right, this is a different kind of reality, okay? Now, just being a thought more so a dream of me wanting to get diagnosed so that I can continue on with my life. Now, what I mean by this is, ever since I came out, obviously my life had changed. Now, some people, when they come out, they change for the better, or they, their lifestyle changed for the better, or their life changed for the worse, depending, depending on the reaction of the, of the person, you know. But in my case, it was it change for the worse, or whatever, you know? So in my case, I had no interest in looking for jobs, or interest in life, etc, etc. And as I said to my job woman, I don't know her technical job title, but she has a job title, I'm sure it's not called a job woman. But anyway, I had asked her going up the corporate ladder, i.e. working for Twitter, then I wall or waltz into Twitter in New York City, so I could move working Twitter over here, and then I said to her, could I get a transfer to New York State, in the city, or whatever, and they say, oh, of course you can, just get your paperwork sorted up with your visas, etc, etc, and you'll be working there in no time, assuming they don't say yes, of course, to me, but no, whatever, so that's basically, that's basically another, that's basically, that's hard as I said, so I don't know, maybe, as my sister explained to me a few months ago, or probably now a few years, that when you suffer a trauma, all the other stuff comes, right, comes spilling out like vomit or whatever, you know? So, like my uncle's dead, I had forgotten about the homophobia. Like, my uncle went in 2013, and three years had passed when my homophobia had finished. Well, technically two, because it continued over an extra year or so. But that being said, when he went, it brought up all my homophobia 
or coming outside party, and by that I mean as if it were happening then and there, even though it happened a few years ago. Hence, I had to get help in that regard. But in this case, that I don't know. It all depends on the way things work out. But anyway, only time will tell, as I say. And then on to my last piece of our advice. <coughs> on to my last sec piece of the entry, as you say. As I was writing this particular post, I was looking at what was I looking at? Oh yeah, the People's Debate series with Vincent Brown on TV3. Now, as I live and breathe, I see familiar face Keith Mills. Now he was, he was campaigning and voted no. He is gay, but he voted no. He was campaigning for a vote for a no vote, sorry. And um, in the recent marriage referendum or same sex referendum, same thing. All right. Now, as I live and breathe. I see him on Vincent Brown's previous debate with Vincent Brown, okay? Now, he was asking a question, he was in the audience aspect. And lo and behold, would you believe it, he actually joined Fiona Foyle? And as Vincent Brown puts it to him, why would you do that to yourself? Because if some of you know my politic interests, they actually destroyed the country, they were brought the country to its knees back in 2011. When Ireland had no hope of regaining consciousness, if you know what I mean. But fast forwarding to 2015, the country is back up and running again, yada yada yada. My point being is, Vincent Brown says, Why would you do that to yourself? Like, joining a party that brought the country to its knees. And Keith Mills cleverly says, Look, move on, bro, Vincent. Like, come on. That's happened in 2015, happened in 2010 and 11. So in this instance, just move on, and then he asks whatever question it was. So that said, um, that's about it for this month or this week, this day, today's diary entry. So I shall speak to y'all soon again. All right, Chabel.